Hi, I'm Jeremy Kuhn from Topwell. Today, let me introduce you our Alumic 250P. It's a compact designed, synergic, post and double post MIG welder, suitable for a variety of materials including steel, stainless steel, aluminum and its alloys, etc. The full rollers professional wire feeder with Teflon kits, TBI PA Teflon liner, and heavy duty MIG torch, especially designed for aluminum welding. Simply select the feeder wire type and size, then you are ready to go. Now let's take a look at the control panel. These are welding process. MMA is stick welding. MAG is metal active gas welding. It is suitable for on alloy, low alloy, and high alloy based metals with carbon dioxide gas or carbon dioxide nitrogen mixed gas. PMIG is POSMIG. It's used for aluminum or aluminum alloys. DPMIG is double POSMIG. It makes you easy to achieve stick time weld bead appearance without stepping. This is a torch holding mode at 2T position. It is no start arc and end arc setting. At 4T position, there is no start arc setting. The special 4T mode can reduce incomplete fusion at the beginning of the weld and is used for cleaning the oxide film and start the arc at special situations and materials especially on aluminum welding. This is a memory setting. It allows you to save 10 personalized parameters. Select a channel, then press here to save the parameters, or press here to open the parameters. Gas check allows you to confirm if the gas is ready. Synergic welding system is optimized for simplicity. Choose the welding process, PMIG or DPMIG. Select the wire diameter and wire type which you loaded in the wire pool. Decide a welding current based on the thickness of the base material by turning off this encode. Then you are off and running. By monitoring on the arc status, you also can do a fine adjusting on the volts from minus 5 to positive 5. The beside form is for your reference. This is a welding parameter setup. Gas preflow time controls amount of time you want your shielding gas to operate before the arc starts. It's a start current control of the S40 mode. The range is from 10 amps to 250 amps. Dynamic control allows you to adjust the arc to suit the work and welding position via this encode. Softer and longer arc is at a low dynamic control number. Increasing the dynamic control provides a hard and shorter arc. Peak amperage is amperage to ensure a good fusion. T here means the peak amperage balance of the weld. The range is 10 to 90 percent. Hertz is the frequency of the pulse. The amp is a welding amperage. It lowers heat input and reduces distortion. And is an end arc setting. Burnback V is a voltage you set to reduce crit defects. And T is the time of reducing crit defects. Gas post flow time is the time you want your shielding gas to run after the arc stop to ensure that the puddle has always adequate gas coverage. 